the next song that I want to talk about was um, Feel Where You Coming From, man. I think that's the song that would uh, tug at the heartstrings a lot more, man, than uh, than most of the songs. It's like a it's like a letter to the family, but more specifically to Mom Dukes, man. And um, did she hear this song, man? I, I was I was curious to, to to know if you played it for her because, as Skilly was saying, the whole project it's no cursing in the project. Yeah. Um. Now, as far as I feel where you're coming from, that is, yeah, it's basically like a letter to my father and my mother. The first verse was uh to my father. Because uh, if you go to um, Life As I See It, if you go on that Piff and go to Life As I See It, I did write a song about him. And that was uh, very negative, you know. And, um, you know, like I said, this one I wanted to be positive. And the main thing was I wanted to talk to my mother because I wanted to basically let her know, like, you know, it was nothing that she did or they did about me taking a route that I went because it was a choice that I made. Like, I didn't grow up in the projects. I didn't grow up, you know, with neither my parents, you know, on drugs. Yes, my father was an alcoholic, and that, that did uh, affect me. Um, but I will say that the only drug that I believe that they both are addicted to, or my pops was, but um, is religion. And um, that was some, um, I did say that about my father in the first song, I did letter to my daddy, which is kind of crazy, all well, like as I see it. Yeah. Um, but this one, um, but this one, I wanted to basically put a positive spin on the reason why he basically alienated himself from me. Mm. And I took it to the point where it was like I was the, uh, I am the only child, and things like that. So I was more. I, I felt like they they cared for me a lot, you know, because you know the baby, the baby, the baby. So then once I sat up there and chose that different route, the only way that he, he, I basically made it in my mind that he just couldn't see me go that route. He was just so disappointed in me that basically he just wanted to wash his hands on me because he know, or he knew that I was better than what I, you know, what I was doing. So <clears throat> that's what that first verse is about. Basically talking to him, just like, you know, maybe this is the reason why it is. Of course, I don't know because he ain't around so it's like, hey, it is what it is, but all I can do is assume at this point. And like I said, the second verse was to my mom, and I did that because I never really said anything about my mother. Like, I never really wrote anything to her or, or anything like that. And um, so I, I, wanted to, I wanted to make sure that she was acknowledged for the things that she did. And just like I said, you know, it wasn't her fault for the path that I chose. You know, they did their best and shit. So that's what that is. So when you said it, it started with the braids, you I, you came into the house, you had a fresh, fresh braids in your hair. That was like the first time they started looking at you a little bit different because you know back then, I mean, certain hairstyles your, your parents didn't really matter. You was kind of ostracized, and the braids was kind of like the thug look. Well, you want to be a thug now? I remember I had braids. My grandfather said the same thing. I'm like, it's braids, but so when you said that, I was like, okay, you know. So your, your, your pops is, your mom's is looking at you differently because of the hairstyle. But one thing that I love that you, that you said throughout the song is that, you know, you take personal responsibility. You're not blaming your parents. And I, I thought that was, um, you know, admirable for you to say that because a lot of times the decisions that we make, unfortunately, our parents take accountability for it. And they kind of ask themselves where they went wrong. And now that I'm older and I, I look at those situations, I'm like, wow, you know what I mean? We, we, we put our people through a lot, you know, running around doing what we're doing, not really realizing, not really being cognitive of, like, the dangers and the risks that we were taking during that period of time. But it was there, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, wow, you know, and that should be a relief for moms to be able to hear that. You know, while she's here, man, while our peoples are here, we need to tell them, like, you know, hey, it's not your fault, you know what I mean? So I, I thought that was really big of you yeah. to say that, man. Because most of the songs I hear... When it talks about you know dysfunctional childhoods growing up into dysfunctional adulthoods, nine times out of ten, most times songs you know, daddy was locked up, moms was getting high, you the reason why I ain't getting by, you know, and it's kind of like that same story, and it's true, it, it, it definitely has an impact. You know, yeah. parents is on drugs or they not there, they locked up, incarcerated, but to hear that from you, man, and just as as an artist to hear that, it's like wow, you know, personal responsibility. I'm not big on nowadays, man. People like passing the buck, you know what I mean? So that was dope. That was real dope. Appreciate it, bro. 
Yeah, and it was a heartfelt, you know, that's what I was saying. Like, I think your mom would hear that and really, you know, she would appreciate that, you know? Yeah, I forgot. That was the original question. <laughs> I forgot what the original question was. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy because I just went to Jersey, too, and I just seen her after uh, not seeing it since the COVID and all of that. You know, so it probably was like a couple of years. Well, no, not well, a couple of years, but I would have seen it anyway. Um, and I was going to play it, too, when I was there. Mm -hmm. But of course, my mixes, man, I feel some type of way about my mixes. So I'm like, oh, I want this to be perfect when she's here. Like, I don't want her to hear and things like that. Then everybody was there. And I'm like, yo, should I, I don't know. Yo. It yeah. just was a crazy timing. And I just yeah. don't know if I even want to be there when she hear it. I would rather, I would rather, like, uh, I, all right, I'll say the plan. I want my sister or my niece to go and play with her and all of that. And then they can play the the reaction and things like that. No doubt, no doubt. That's understandable. I mean, yo, it's, it's a heartfelt song. Y'all gonna hear a piece of it here. Now I'm understanding certain circumstances, the reason why you left in the first place, damn it. It was all me. You're a blood when I bleed. Twinkle wink your E Y E then you blink. Now I'm getting open from the blunts I'm smoking. Thinking of the reasons why I'm sitting here zoning. Maybe it's the rage when I went astray. Pain in your face when I walked in with braids. Yes, it was a difference. Flicks about society made me a menace. Yes, something inside of me, maybe evil spirits. Nope, didn't try to be just not. A minute. That's when I know this relationship diminished. Can't finish sentence or I'm lift at a distance when it used to be kisses. Disappointed, guess I wasn't on it. Then became a devil, living hell was my enjoyment. Now I'm in the streets where the demons feast. Belly of the beast, same place where I eat. Same day that I banged Nadine. You told me I wouldn't make 18. I didn't recognize at the time, traumatized. The way I changed my life, it was all televised. Something like Barton re-ran about a thousand times. And it never gets old as advertised. Knew before I did it, cause you told me not to do it. Stupid. Now I feel where you coming from. I was clueless, foolish to the student. Now I went through it. I feel where you coming from. Yeah, pops, man, I feel where you coming from. Grand pops, man, I feel where you coming from. Mom I'm Duke Show, I feel where you coming from. Oh, geez, man, I feel where you yeah, coming man. from. Phenomenal job on that, brother. Phenomenal job, man.